Hey guys, Coach Mitz here from CrossFit by Design and in this video, I'm gonna run you through a warm-up. Hey guys, so like I said in the intro, we're gonna go through a warm-up today. This is a great one for you to do in open gym time or whenever you're just doing a wad on your own. Uh, awesome general warm-up. It's also something you can do if you've been in the car for like a massive period of time or just stuck sitting down. Really good thing to run yourself through. Cool? So the first thing we're gonna do is a Kang squat with internal rotation. So what I wanna do is just take up my normal squat stance. And a Kang squat is kind of a combination of a good morning and a squat. So what I'll do, take up my squat stance. Just kind of gone out of frame a little bit. Let's get somewhere where you can see me. So I go here, and then what I'll do is I'll go slight knee bend, and I just fold over like you would for a good morning. And then I take a seat keeping my chest upright, and then your internal rotation is, I bring this knee to touch that foot, reset that foot, and then I bring the other knee in to touch that foot. Reset to my good squat stance, makes my chest nice and upright. Go hips up, chest up. And what I wanna do is roll through that six times. So six is gonna be the magic number, and then for today, we're just gonna roll through six reps rather than moving on. So when you're doing this as your warm up, you can just kind of follow along rather than having to break and pause it. So we'll just go slowly through the reps, almost done three already, and we'll just make our way through the rest. Alright cool, so once you've done your 6 reps, we're going to go into a toe squat. So what that looks like is, my feet are together, and then I'll come down in my toes. So I'll go squat in my toes, like you wouldn't do. And then what I want to do from here, and you can get near a pole or a wall or something if you need to for balance, is I'm going to rock back into my heels and shoot my knees out. And that will be one rep. Okay. Knees forward, and then heels to the ground, knees out. Two, just roll through six of these. Three, just pause it at either end. Like I said, get near a pole if you feel like you're gonna face plant. Four. Five. Six. All right, cool. So the next thing we're gonna do is a post to thoracic bridge. What I wanna do is get to like a hip bridge position. So, something like this. And then I'll go up into a normal hip bridge, so I'll bring my hips up, and then I'll bring one arm off the ground and just drape it over the other side as I rotate. Pause here for two to three seconds. Can drop my hips to reset. Come back up as my other arm drapes over. Look at that pause, and we'll do three reps aside, which will be six reps total. All right, cool, once you've done that, we'll do a bit of an inchworm, more of a static inchworm. What I mean by that is, is I'll get to my inchworm position, walk my feet in nice and slowly. Once I reach as far as I can go, I'll pause, and then I'll just step back, and then I'll walk my hands back. Pause. So forward and back would be two reps. I'm gonna go make my way through six reps.
Alright, cool. So once we've done that, this is where shit really gets interesting. What we're going to do is go through a stretch complex, or a perfect stretch complex. So the first thing I want to do, I get to this sort of Spider-Man lunge position, and then from here, I'll push back. So I get my hamstring stretch, come forward, and then I get this elbow down to my ankle here, and then rotate this arm to the sky. And I'll plant that hand, I'll do the same thing, I'll rotate this arm, come down, and what I'm going to do is pivot on this foot, so I'm going to turn this foot, and I'm going to drop to my Cossack squat. So I'm going to pause here, for three to five seconds, and then from there, I'm just going to take a seat, and then reach for this other foot here. Once I've done that, I'll come around to my pigeon pose. Pause here for three to five seconds. Now let's continue the rotation. So I'm going to keep going this way. Sitting up nice and tall and just rotating. And then I'm going to come back to here, I'll push back to like a down dog position. And I'll bring that other leg through. Same deal. So from here, I'll push my hips back, hamstring stretch. Elbow down, arm up. Bring that opposite arm into rotation. Back down. Pivot. Cossack squat. Take a seat. Reach for that foot. Come around. Pigeon. And then rotate. So that's two reps so far. We'll make our way through six so you can just keep following along. So I'll push back to down dog. And then I'll go into that sort of spider man lunge position again. Push my hips back from a hamstring stretch. Elbow down. Same arm goes up, then my other arm goes up. Rotate so you can get to your Cossack squat. Take a seat, reach for your foot. Rotate around, pigeon. Bring that other leg through. And then push back to your spider man lunge and then down dog. Change sides. Hips back. Hamstring stretch. Elbow down. Arm up. Other arm comes up. Rotate to your cross act. Take a seat. Pigeon. Rotate. So yeah, one more rep on each side. Make sure you get that nice rotation. that cross sack before you sit down. Pigeon for a few seconds. Start to warm up. Final rotation on this side. Come up to your lunge and then push back to your down dog for your last rep on the other side. Hamstring back, uh, hips back, sorry, almost feel that one. Elbow down. Rotate both arms. 
Cossack, sit and reach. Pigeon. On rotation. All right, so that's it for that one. So what you do, when you come back for that last reset, as you push back for your down dog, what you'll do is push back for a down dog and then you'll do a dive bomber. So you basically go to down dog and then it's like you're going underneath the fence. So I'll show you what I mean. If I push back, so down dog, pause, and then it's like you're going under a fence. So I go under the fence, let my hips go to the ground, and come up, keep my arms on nice and tight, push back, down dog. So I'll do that six times. Just pausing a little bit at either end. Alright, cool. So we've got one last thing to do, which is you could do a roll to V sit or a roll to like a frog stand balance. Either way, it's going to do some rolling around. So, what I'll do is I get to a position where I can sort of tuck. So, I'm ro my roll just looks like that. So, when I roll, I can roll and then go feet wide and then reach. So, that's your roll to V sit. So, I'm just kind of rolling and then I'm reaching forward as much as I can. You can do six of those. Or I can roll to like a balance. So I can go and then come up to my feet and then sort of push under my hands, take my feet off the ground nice and slow. Come back down and just reset. So I roll, go to my feet, slowly make my way onto my hands. Let's go through like that. Just depends where you're at, skill level wise. But either way, six of one or the other. We'll do both. Um, and that's it, that's it for the warm up. Nice general warm up, or like I said, if you're stuck sitting down for a long period of time, really great thing to shake it out to. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you save this link, send it to yourself or whatever so you can access the video whenever you need. Cheers.